Tourism has always been an effective tool in unlocking opportunities with social impact, such as jobs generation. Aichi Prefecture in Nagoya, Japan, known for its natural beauty, carefully preserves its sites and surroundings to attract more tourists. More than the enthralling sights and sounds of its sprawling metropolis, other prefectures in Japan are also widely sought after by tourists because of their entrancing culture and the meticulous and careful nature of its people and their traditions. According to the Japan National Tourism Organization, tourism from abroad is one of the few promising businesses in Japan. During the first half of 2016, the number of foreign visitors in Japan reached 11.7 million, exceeding the previous record of 10 million in 2013. Keeping in line with its slogan as the heart of Japan, Aichi Prefecture is a base for flourishing industries, art and culture, and is also blessed with the beauty of nature. It is a tourist's dream come true with its perfectly preserved natural sites. But beyond the beauty of its cities, however, is a far greater achievement for Aichi Prefecture. Its local community thriving precisely because of tourism. One example is the Inuyama Castle in Inuyama City. This is just one of the 12 remaining medieval castles of Japan, making it one of the national treasures of the country. This is also one of the top tourist destinations in Aichi. Along with the Joan Tea Ceremony, which is also considered as a national treasure of the country. A portion of the city's medieval past is also well preserved, turning it into a hub for foreign and local tourists that, in turn, gives locals an opportunity to open up their business, whether through tours or food kiosks. But more than tourism, Aichi Prefecture is also known for its manufacturing industry, such as ceramics. Being blessed with high-quality white clay and raw materials, Seto City in Aichi Prefecture is one of the leading producers of ceramics in the country. Endowed with a long history of ceramic culture and tradition dating as far back as 28,000 BC, the preservation of this deep and rich culture has been the main project of the Aichi Prefecture's government. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Seto City is also known for having been the first in Japan to introduce ceramic maneki nekos or beckoning cats. A maneki neko is a porcelain cat figurine holding one paw aloft to invite people or luck. According to Japanese culture, if the maneki neko has its right paw raised, this invites financial fortune, while the left paw invites in more customers. Seto City's Maneki Neko Museum is home to over 1,000 beckoning cats, making it the largest museum of ceramic figurines in the country. Aichi Prefecture boasts of its ability to thrive with both the traditional and the modern. As surreal as the experience may seem, locals are more than thankful for the opportunity given to them by tourism. あの、産業の空洞化とかですね、非常に経済っていうのがですね、今後どうどうやって成長していくかということで、ま、非常に課題があるオレンジパークの方で働いています。えっと、多くはえ、だいたいえ、レストラン。それから、え、農園で。エレクトリシティイズアベーシックリクワイアメントフォーエニーナショナルデベロップメント。Electrification and electricity are very fundamental empowering factors. This provides a lot of developmental opportunities for a community and that improves the life and economics of the place. Aside from traditional crafts, Aichi Prefecture also promotes its abundant natural resources through tourism. Situated in Gamagori City is a fruit-themed park where tourists can enjoy picking different kinds of seasonal fruits throughout the year. Right now, it's summer in Japan, which makes grapes as the main produce of the park. The park attracts at least 3,000 visitors a month. The large number of tourists gives significant boost to the livelihood of the community. それから、え、オレンジパークの方で働いています。え、と、多くは、え、大体、え、レストラン。それから、え、農園で働いています。あとは売店だったりとか、あとは駐車場でも、え、あの、お客様の案内をしております。Another popular spot in Gamagori City is the Laguna 10 Bosch Amusement Complex. This water park attracts 3 million visitors annually, making it one of the busiest establishments in the prefecture. This in turn creates lots of jobs for the locals in order to accommodate the large volume of tourists. Fishermen in the Kiso River in Aichi Prefecture also benefit from local government's tourism program. Aside from reaping the benefits of the river's rich bounty, the fishermen earn extra by showcasing to tourists the ukai or traditional way of cormorant fishing. Ukai is a 1,300-year-old traditional fishing technique using tethered sea cormorants to catch ayu or sweetfish. 
Cruising slowly down the Kiso River, the fishermen attract the ayu through the use of kagaribi, or fire hanging from a steel basket meticulously placed in front of the boat. The lead fisherman, or usho, handles 5 to 12 cormorants tethered at the neck with straw ropes. The fish are then scooped up by the diving birds throughout the cruise, and the usha then pulls the cormorants in, and larger fish are disgorged from the birds' beaks. Ukai is usually done at night from long, flat-bottomed wooden boats. This traditional way of fishing is also known as a summer sport of Japanese feudal lords. Traditional culture is only one side of Japan. Though now considered as one of the world's economic powers, the Japanese still make it a point to infuse the values and traditions of their rich cultural past. Traditions that help shape their now fascinating old meets new cultural landscape. まあ、ぜひですね、伝統化していただいて、それは現代のあの物作りもつながっていくということですね。まあ、ぜひ知っていただきたいと思っております。